What's up, digital marketing agency owners? Today I wanna to talk about or one of my favorite strategies for positioning yourself as the go-to agency in your industry and to get clients coming to you month in and month out, and that's podcasting. And so if you're interested in some new ideas and strategies on how to accelerate your growth, how to get new clients, and how to grow your agency, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. So when it comes to growing your agency, right? I talk a lot about this growth system, the agency growth system, which are the things you wanna be doing daily, weekly, and monthly to keep your pipeline full, right? And, and it's really around cold outreach, the monthly webinar method, and podcasting, industry events, and case studies. But today, really, what I wanna talk about is this podcast and really doing a podcast on a monthly basis and why that's one of the key things that you can do without overdoing it to position yourself to get clients exposed to your value in advance and to be leaning in and coming to you pre-positioned to buy. Now, I'd love to know as I get into this, type podcast in the comments if you're already running a podcast of some sort, and, and that way I have some idea like as you're watching this where you sit. So when it comes to content creation and this whole idea of positioning yourself and getting clients to come to you, there, there's a couple problems that I see come up again and again. Number one, it's hard to come up with new content, especially when you've got a blank screen. You're like, oh, I should be creating more videos. I should be creating some podcast episodes. I should be putting out content. If we don't have a framework to use, it becomes super, super challenging. The other thing is it, it can be hard to create attention within our podcast. A lot of times we create content. Maybe we create a blog post or record a video or we do a webinar and we send it out there, we post it up, and it just crickets. Nobody's interested, nobody engages, right? Isn't that one of the worst feelings that you get? Um, and the third problem is often, even if we create content or we're doing daily content, um, we're not perceived as the expert, right? We're like trying to beg for attention, but nobody's interested and nobody's listening, right? And really the opportunity, as I see it with podcasting, kind of with a framework I'm gonna be showing you today, is that what we can do is we can simplify the content creation process, make it effortless for you so that it happens on a consistent basis and it does all the things we want content to do, mainly to catch our prospects' attention and get them to think, this is for me, right? It's not just some random piece of information, but it's super valuable to me at this stage in the game in my business. Um, and of course, we wanted to position you as the expert, right? There's various levels of positioning, and if you're the expert at the front of the stage, you're the host of the podcast, you're the author of the book, you're positioned as the expert. And the expert, people come to you, and they ask you questions, and they seek out your advice, and they're willing to pay a premium to work with the expert in their industry. So a great example of this is, is Jim Aline from Roofer Marketers. Uh, Jim, just a couple years back, started his agency, decided he was gonna go into the roofing niche, didn't have a lot of authority, didn't have a lot of deal flow. Well, he really kind of bought into this notion of developing omnipresence in the industry and really used podcasting as one of the main mechanisms to position himself. Fast forward, if you look Jim up, Roofer Marketers and Brian Niebler, you'll see they're everywhere in the roofing niche and they've got lots and lots of great content uh, they grew to over 250, actually, as I, as I last checked, they're over 300,000 in monthly recurring revenue, and actually sold the agency through an acquisition to Job Nimbus for a great exit. And one of the main things that they did consistently and well is putting up content, specifically in the form of podcasts, that get sliced up, that get syndicated, and get shared all across the internet. So this strategy works really, really well. This is something we do in our agency, Plumbing and HVAC SEO, and I've kind of been doing since the beginning, where we create monthly interviews with clients and you know, post on our website, uh, Plumber SEO and PlumbingMarketing.net. So another good example of this is Kelsey Outram. I recently interviewed him as one of our members on going to seven figures and, and being one of the fastest growing agencies in seven figure agency. Uh, what we noticed was he uses it um, as a mechanism to position himself and to actually get attention of prospects that he wants to do business with. Um, and if you look up Matt Platt from Restaurant Marketing That Works, um, super fast growing agency, super, super religious with his podcasting content. And so I'm gonna give you five key principles here on, on why and how to implement podcasting and then um, hopefully you'll take this and implement it, and start to get some results and accelerated growth in your agency. So number one is you gotta determine your format. You wanna to simplify to multiply, so we wanna figure out the format 
From there, we want to flesh out the tools. Like, there's lots of different things we can do with podcasting. You know, do we put it on iTunes or do we put it on Amazon or do we use um, whatever different platform there is? We'll kind of flesh out some of the tools. Outline the questions in the flow. I really believe that a, an interview style podcast is easy to produce, very interesting for your prospects, and can be super simple for you to do on a very consistent basis. Where you just have to flesh, flesh out your questions and the flow of the inter interviews, and you can just do this again and again and again. Uh, number four is we wanna design the syndication process. So if you are gonna put the energy into creating a podcast at least once per month, you might as well make sure you figure out how are we going to get the most out of this after each episode to get maximum reach, to get maximum attention. Um, and then number five is we gotta start to get some guests, right? And it's not as hard as you think, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna short list who are like five or six people that are either past clients or that are influencers in the space that have something valuable to say that we can interview or ask to come on our podcast. And so I did a whole session on this at one of our recent intensives. Um, I'm just trying to give you the Cliff Notes version here so you have the idea like, yeah, I should do podcasts and here's some ways to simplify it. I will say for format, what I suggest is a live interview either conducted on Zoom or on Restream or on one of those um, online broadcasting platforms where you can capture the video and you can capture the audio simultaneously. Over the years, what we've done is predominantly it was all done via Zoom. And so if you looked at it, like it was me and my guest, and I just brought them on, we hit record, and I asked the questions, right? And it could be as simple as just that, right? A lot of times the, the owner of the business that you serve, whatever niche you're in, isn't gonna have a fancy setup. They're not gonna have a great camera and really high-tech um, audio equipment, that's okay, right? So don't feel like it has to be super, super high-tech. Over the years, we have evolved the process now, so we don't just use Zoom, we use Restream and the benefit of a tool like Restream is we can go live on multiple platforms. Like we can go live on Facebook, we can go live on YouTube, we can go live um, in various Facebook groups and there's more reach to it in that way. The other thing that we've done, kind of going from just having them show up and record it, we've made it a live experience. So kind of like what we do with the monthly webinar method is we can make it a live experience where we invite people to come attend, they listen to me interview the person, they can ask questions throughout and that way you're getting more bang for the effort, right? If you're gonna record it anyways, you might as well do it live and get the attention of your, your list and your prospects. Uh, but don't feel like you have to do it like that. Um, some of the benefits of doing it that way is just that additional touch and that additional consumption of the, of the content. So you could use re Restream or you could use Zoom or you could use a lot of other tools. Like there's other platforms that do this as well. In terms of tech stack, when it comes to the actual podcast, Right, yes, we're gonna take the video and we're gonna put that on YouTube. Uh, the audio piece specifically, the main places we want it are iTunes, we want it on Spotify, we want it on Audible Podcasts, we want it all of those places. Um, and so, again, there's lots of different ways to do this. I just use WordPress. I use the PowerPressor plugin. Um, I host my audio files on Amazon S3. And of course, the videos go on YouTube. And then every time I create a post, as long as there's an audio file attached, it becomes a podcast that just gets synced across the internet. And that's all powered by the Power Presser plugin. Again, don't get hung up on this. There's probably a million ways to set up a podcast. Find the way that's gonna be most low resistance for you and start creating the content. Again, I, I wanna hit the 80-20 principle here. I, I could go deep on this, um, but the main thing is just get started. Create the content, simplify the process, um, create a nice cover graphic for your interviews, create an episode graphic that you'll use for each person that you interview on an ongoing basis. Map out your questions. You don't have to overthink this. A lot of times, yes, a little research in advance is gonna go a long way. Customizing your questions from one guest to the next is good, especially with the help of AI. But what I found is I can ask the same questions almost every single time and get a very different episode because the guest is always different. So I'll ask them a little bit about how long they've been in business and kind of how they got started in the business. I'll ask about what kind of who their ideal customer is, what area they serve, what services they provide. I'll ask what their unique selling proposition is, how they position themselves in the local market. I'll ask kind of what, what does the marketing look like? What are you guys doing today? Are you doing internet? Are you doing SEO? Are you doing pay-per-click? Are you doing you know, radio ads? What is the marketing mix? I'll have them talk a little about what works best. So if you think about all of the different marketing you do, what is the thing that generates 
the best results. And then depending upon how long it's gone, usually I'm shooting for 30 to 45 minutes, doesn't need to be longer than that. Sometimes that takes the whole thing. Other times I need to ask more questions of like, so how do you recruit? Um, what are some marketing strategies you tried in the past that aren't working as well today? How are you leveraging AI in your business, right? So just come up with your list of questions so that you can simplify the process and you can in your mind say, I'm gonna interview somebody, I'm gonna use Zoom, I'm gonna hit the record button, I'm gonna ask these six questions, and then I, I, I can kind of confidently go out and start scheduling interviews and start creating content. And then of course we do wanna syndicate it. Like don't just think that you're gonna do podcasting or do these interviews and it's magically gonna fill your calendar, right? You have to syndicate the content, which is like where are we gonna load it? How are we gonna load it? How are we gonna chop it up? What are we gonna use for long form and short form? And what are some of the tools to really simplify that process and, and, and magnify the process? Definitely wanna send an email to your list and you should have a list. It should be on ideally on high level, right? Where you've got your prospect list, you've got your agency funnel, you've got your long-term nurture sequence and you can just email, hey, I just interviewed this person. It was amazing. Here's some of the key things that we covered. Um, post about it on your social profiles, ideally your personal profile, your business page and your group. Ideally, you've got a prospect group that you're using in order to kind of aggregate your best prospects. And so that's how you're gonna syndicate it. And of course, I do recommend using some AI technology to take the long form content, split it up into small videos that you can use for Instagram and TikTok and other places like that without spending tons of time editing and customizing and uploading captions and slowing things down. Last question on this, right? So we've got, we've got the format, we got the idea. The next thing is how do we get some guests? And really what I'm gonna suggest is think about your, your best clients and they don't have to be celebrities. We're talking about people within your niche that you've gotten a result for and say, hey, look, I think you're doing amazing things. Would you be open to being interviewed for my podcast? I'll just bring you on Zoom. I'll ask you some questions. How does that sound, right? And let them say yes and make it low pressure. If you're not doing this already, just have them show up live and hit the record button. After you've got a couple of those under your belt, then maybe you say, hey, look, let's go on Zoom and we're gonna, at the same time, maybe share it into a Facebook group or we're gonna share it over um, onto the YouTube channel, right? And then over time, as you're super confident, you're like, hey, I know exactly how this is gonna work. I've got my tech set up. Um, let's, let's use like a Restream or um, StreamYard or whatever tool you wanna use to, to make it a live captured event. So you wanna make your short list um, you know, you want to have a, a kind of a template that way you're not overthinking it every time. Hey, hey, John, I think you'd be a great interview person for my podcast. Would you be interested, right? And they write back, yes, great. And then you can kick them off to a page where they can schedule in for your podcast. Again, there's layers of complexity. You could at the beginning just say, awesome. What day and time works for you? And that's how I used to do it. And I would kind of add it to my calendar and then I would set up the Zoom event and I would, you know, get ready and, and kind of manually do it all. As we got a little bit more robust with this, we set up a funnel where somebody can schedule in using high level or you could use Cal Calendly and they can pick their time and they can get the reminders, they can get the, the details for how to prepare for the podcast. A little more professional, um, and I do have a snapshot for this that we provide to our, our members that run podcasts as well as a little sequence of events that sends to remind them, to get them excited, to get them mentally prepared. And what's interesting is when you do it in this way, um, and you kind of have a professional thought process behind it, yes, you're gonna create good content. Yes, that content's gonna be content that attracts your ideal prospects to it. You, yes, it's actually probably gonna be content that you can get into the industry association and you start to become looked at as a thought leader. Maybe they start to invite you to come speak at the industry conferences and events. But the other interesting byproduct is, in addition to interviewing your actual clients, you could also interview ideal prospects. Like if you have a list of the best of the best in the industry that you'd love to do business with, what better way to get their attention than to say, hey, this guy owns XYZ company that's in my niche, why don't I reach out to him and interview him on the podcast? Do you think he'd be more likely to have a meeting with you to talk about what you do or to feature himself and his results and how successful he or she is? Right? And so we found a, a lot of the agencies in the program use this and, and they use it as a strategy to get the attention of the prospect. And once somebody gets to develop a relationship with you, they get to know, like, and trust you a little bit, they might say like, hey, I'd be interested in your services. Let's talk about how you can help me specifically. Uh, and we see that happen often. Don't make that your only intention, right? Your intention is to create content, but it's interesting how it starts to create a byproduct of your dream 100 prospects learning about you, being exposed to your value and be potentially becoming a client. 
And so this has multiple benefits, right? Number one, you're gonna develop a stronger relationship with your clients, especially if you start there. Let's interview your clients and develop case studies and interview them and feature their success. Number two, you're gonna develop connections that you would have otherwise never had the opportunity to develop. So that could be in the form of prospects you wanna do business with. It could be in the, in the form of leaders of industry associations and coaching programs, influencers, people putting out great content that now you're featuring them and so they develop a relationship with you. Um, and, and it could also, you know, being able to connect with people that just wanna refer business to you because now they, they see you as an expert. Uh, number three is it gives you great content that you can share, right? And I always talk about the, the growth system in that we wanna develop a list of prospects, but we have to touch that list in a value-added way on a consistent basis. Podcasting, webinars, case studies, all of these things give you a reason to email them, to, to show up in their social feed, and, and to kind of create new inbound fodder for yourself. So it's gonna help you develop inbound content for your list. And let's face it, everybody wants to do business with the expert. Everybody wants to do business with the person that understands their industry, that has proven results, and that really gets it. And so this, this whole strategy helps position your expert status and makes you more magnetically attractive to your ideal clients. So that's why you should do podcasts. That's how you should do podcasts. I wanna give you four basic steps on this. Number one, set up the podcast with some of the basic tech structure. If you need help with that, say help or podcast help here in the comments and I can point you to some additional resources. Number two, set up the workflow so somebody can schedule in with you and make it super, super simple. Number three, right now as you're watching this, reach out to three to five guests and either email them or send them a message on social messenger. That could be Facebook Messenger, Instagram, LinkedIn if you're active there. Hey, I think you'd be awesome. I'd love to po interview you on my podcast. Would you be up for that? If you send that simple message, you're gonna get a couple of interviews set up and that will start this process down the track. And then number four is I want you to commit to do at least one fully syndicated podcast episode per month. If you do just one per month, you will be creating content, you will be positioning yourself, and you will absolutely start to grow your agency and clients coming to you on a more consistent basis. I hope you got value from this. If you got some great insights or some great ideas, be sure to press the like button, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can get other videos just like this on landing clients, delivering results, retention, and scale within your digital marketing agency. If you'd like to go deeper, like podcasting is just one of the key strategies that we recommend and help our members implement. If you'd like to learn more on kind of the full picture of how to grow and scale your agency to seven figures and multiple seven figures over the next 12 to 24 months, I would suggest you go to sevenfigureagency.com slash roadmap. That's sevenfigureagency.com slash roadmap. Or shoot me a message. If you're interested, maybe you're at a higher level and you'd like to plug in for you know one-on-one -on -one coaching or to join the community, send me a personal message and um, let's connect. So that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again real soon.